Okay, before we start, I'd like to point out a few features of the setup of the wheelchair. This video is going to be just the technical aspects of loading and unloading a wheelchair. When you look at the wheelchair, the anchors have to have this part right here. Some companies call it, they call it a plunger, a locking plunger. Some companies call it a foot. In any event, this part has to be placed on all anchors. This part has to be placed away from the student. So you can see over here, it's away from the student. You can see back here, it's away from the student. Here, it's away from the student. And up here, it's away from the student. It's important because if even one of the anchors has the orientation turned around, facing toward the, the student, you will void the manufacturer's product liability warranty. Okay? What is the position of the four anchors? The front anchors have to be in the wide track. The rear anchors have to be in the narrow track. The lap shoulder belt has to be at a 90 degree angle to the floor. Now, the only exception to the 90 degree angle of the floor is if you have postural deficiency and you move this forward so that the strap does not go around their throat. Why is it important that all the anchors be placed in the correct track and in the correct way? Because federal and state laws require it. We're going to go ahead and lower the lift manually. When you do that, I want you to take the pump handle out of the pump module. I want you to take the slotted end of the pump handle and I want you to put the slotted end until it catches in the pump release valve. So put it in like this. Then I want you to tighten the valve as hard as you can take it out. Then I want you to go up to the pump and I want you to pump it until you can't pump it anymore. The reason that you pump it is that you want the lift to be up snug so that the lift tight latches will release when you want to lower the lift. When you want to lower the lift after you've got the lift tight latches yeah. up firm at these latches, you'll notice you have to have the wheelchair lift up firmly, even with an electric pump, because it won't go down until you fold it up as far as it goes. So, what you do is now to lower it, you take the pump handle, take the slotted end of the pump handle, put it in the pump release valve, and turn it a quarter to a half turn to the left, and the lift will go down. Now at any time that you want to slow down or stop the lift, just turn it to the right. But in this case, I want to go all the way down. Once the lift is fully down, what you want to do is you want to tighten the pump release valve as tight as you can to the right. That will allow you to, once you've loaded up the chair, to pump it up. Now we're going to go ahead and load. Yvonne is acting as the student. Doris is acting as the parent, the aide, or a teacher. Now what you're going to do is in this particular case, this was a manual wheelchair, we just pushed it on. Had it been an electric wheelchair, you would need to have clearance from the entire IEP team to allow that student to drive the wheelchair onto the lift. Assume you don't have that clearance in your manifest. What I want you to do is follow these simple steps. Push the off button on the controller where the joystick is. The power is now off. Go to the back of the wheelchair. There are two motors. Take the levers, 
from drive to neutral, push the wheelchair on, go back to the levers, flip them up to drive, and that acts as the wheelchair lock. Doris is acting as our uh, parent, and what I want you to do, Doris, when this lift goes up, I want you to hold on to it firmly at all times. The entire time, expect the unexpected. Now we're going to go ahead and pump the student up to take her into the uh, bus. Now I'm going to bring the student into the bus. Now I got to talk to my parent. Doris, when I hold on to the wheelchair, I can't go out onto the lift. I need you to release the brakes when I tell you to. Go ahead and release. Okay, when you have a position that you think is right, go ahead and lock your brakes. In a wheelchair that does not have securement eyelets, as this one, what you need to do is you need to put the retraction hook on the part of the frame that's near a weld, as close to the seat bottom as possible. When you place the front anchors, the retraction hook must face inward on the frame. So it looks like this. When you place the retraction hooks in the, on the rear, again, you want it to be uh, near a spot that's welded and you want it to be as close to the seat bottom as possible. The re retraction hooks face outward. All four floor anchors are now tightened. The lap shoulder apparatus is now placed. The lap belt has to be low, hip bone to hip bone. So, in this particular case, you're going to thread this, get a little more length, get some length, and you're going to thread it through here. And just put it right here for a second. Now the shoulder apparatus has to fit into the buckle, but as you can see we need a little bit more room, so I'm going to create a little more room here for that. Come over here and I'm going to put this on the side here, and then I'm going to tighten this up, make sure it goes up about a 45 degree angle, it can go anywhere from 30 to 60, but 45 is ideal. Go ahead and tighten it like this and tighten the lap belt like this so everything is snug. 
if you have a student and you don't want the buckle here because they continually take their finger and pop it to go open, you can pull this. It's admissible to pull this behind and have the buckle here. Now to unload Yvonne, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook all the anchors. Now that all the retraction uh, strapped hooks are off, the lap shoulder belt is off, I'm going to move her onto the platform and lower her down. Doris, I'm going to need your help. When I tell you to, would you please lock the brakes? Lock the brakes. Doris, would you keep a firm grip on this wheelchair the entire time that I lower it? Yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and lower the wheelchair. And in this particular case, I go into the pump release valve. And I want to be very careful here when I first turn it because with weight on the wheelchair, if I turn it quickly, the wheel will go, the chair will go right down. So just a little bit at a time to get it started. Nice and easy on the way down. After they're down, I go ahead and I close the pump release valve. Three, two, one. Why did I go through carefully that all four anchors had to be snugged up on the wheelchair student, that the left shoulder apparatus had to be put on correctly and snugly put together there? Because if you don't put all the pieces together and do them properly, it's a severe DOT violation. Now, I've gone through a lot of these things from the, the way the orientation is, the positioning, what to do with the student, what to do with the lift. Why did I do that? I did it because in the event that you were in a crash, and a police report was made and an EMT report was made and they're experts in there. If they write up that you didn't do something correctly, they will make a finding of negligence. A negligent finding will, it will absolutely void the shield of government immunity. Thank you very much on this very hot July day and have a good one.